Hi, welcome back. Today we're talking about strength. Ceramics are crazy strong. I think the only way to show that is to just crush some stuff. At Quartz Tech, we push our ceramics to their limits, all in the name of making better materials and designs for our customers. I'm Dr. David Hook. And I'm Dr. Amy Morsey. In this series, we're taking you into the lab to show you how ceramics can withstand even the most extreme conditions. First thing we're going to try crushing is polymer. This is a butyl rubber stress reliever, a little, a little brain with its eyes that pop out. Uh, chances are this will be pretty weak, but won't know until we try. Here we go. Alright, at first we're not really pressing on it all that hard, so it doesn't look much different. Shouldn't be too much longer now. It's looking really distressed. It's not a happy brain. That was great. All right, next up we'll try metal. This is a die cast uh, collector's edition Plymouth GTX Dom's car from Fast and the Furious. Uh, made a pretty nice solid metal body. We'll see what happens when we apply some pressure to it. seen what happens when you crush a polymer. It's pretty weak. That was an inflatable brain. Uh, we see what happens when you crush a metal. That was the die cast collector's edition Plymouth GTX. And now we're going to see what happens when you crush a ceramic. But before we do, I bet you didn't know that ceramics are used in stuff you interact with every day. The strongest ball bearings in the world are made from ceramic. They easily stand up to abuse in bikes and skateboards, so you can ride smoothly for a real long time. All right. Let's see how strong ceramics really are. Here we go. You have to be real careful when you crush ceramics. Um, what's gonna happen is it's not gonna look like anything's happening as more and more pressure gets applied to this disc, but it's absorbing all that energy and not failing. So, it, so it's gonna keep getting more and more energy and finally it will fail and it'll do so catastrophically. Okay, so let's go over what we learned. Uh, this polymer rubber brain thing, uh, that yields pretty easy, right? I can yield it with my fingers, and it only took about 400 pounds to squash it flat and cause a pretty loud pop. We also crushed this die cast metal car. Uh, this thing started to yield at around 200 pounds. That's when the, the frame started to bend and things started to fail. Uh, we let it go a little further than that to, let it, to get the really whole squash aspect. 200 pounds or so is when we saw it start to fail. The uh, ceramic disc uh, didn't budge, didn't move at all until it saw about 3,200 pounds. Uh, right, at, right concentrated at these two points. And then right above that, rather than yield, rather than bend at all, it just completely catastrophically shattered and, and, and failed. So in ceramics, the, the yield point's also the break point. And uh, we saw a pretty good example of that today. Thanks very much for, for watching through, and uh, maybe we'll crush some more stuff later. <laughs>